So Terry, if you could tell us a little bit about all this water today and this tank behind you. Okay, uh, today at the wastewater plant, we have a rain gauge and we've measured uh, 1.8 uh, inches of rain in a matter of about 90 to maybe uh, 90 minutes to maybe two hours. That's a lot of rain to come down all at once. And what will happen out in the collection system where the, where the sewers are is rain water will start infiltrating inside the sanitary sewers, either from uh, broken homeowner uh, laterals or uh, cracks in pipes, that kind of thing. And normally, uh, we've been running about 5.1 million gallons of wastewater coming into the plant every day. Uh, it's been a very dry summer for us. Uh, our meter is pegged at 90 million gallons per day plus today. So we had an awful lot of water come into the plant. How often do you see, you know, 90 million gallons? That's quite a bit. How often not do you see that often, kind? Not very often. Uh, if we uh, get a really big gully washer like this, sometimes uh, we'll... Depends on the year. This year, this has been very rare. Uh, other years, like uh, last year, we had a lot of rain. Uh, we did see several uh, events like this. But uh, the typical rain event, uh, normally, uh, we don't see anywhere near that. Right, and now, tell me a little bit, this tank normally you don't have this kind of flow in it. Um, yeah, normally this tank is empty, it's a 1.6 million gallon tank, uh, it's designed for holding uh, wet weather flows. Uh, normally during a rainy event what will happen is water in excess of 30 million gallons per day that we can safely put through the plant will be diverted into this tank and uh, when the storm event's over we'll pump that water back through the plant when the flow subsides. Uh, but on a day like today, obviously, that's way too much water coming in and it does bypass out of the tank and go uh, to the river after primary clarification uh, where the water is cleaned up inside the tank.